Turban is actually uh, the theory which is trying to emphasize in Islam move about the group action itself. We highlight two important properties of our group action in this theory which we shall try to do. So for example, one is the linkage between group action and the homomorphism, and the second one is the linkage between the first one we say, given a homomorphism rho from T to symmetric omega, remember our symmetric omega is our permutation group. The group of all permutations of omega omega is the non empty So you now have a partial homomorphism from T to symmetric. There are all groups, this one is the group, this is the social group. This, but this permutation, this homomorphism gives rise to an action of the on omega. That's what we are trying to solve in the first one. Second, we are saying if we take a group G and we allow it to have an omega, remember our omega is a set, it's not a group, but it's a set, then to each G, an element of group, if you take, you can form a margin, rho G. From omega to omega, defined by rho g, will take alpha to alpha g. Alpha g means the action of g on alpha. Alpha g, an element of what? Omega. Yes, remember elements of uh, alphas are elements of omega, while g's are elements of omega. But we know by that if we permute the elements of omega, we are also going to get another group which we call symmetric. Good. Now, so in the group, we start with the first one. So we have a homomorphism here, rho from g to symmetric omega, defined by this mu. We'll take a pair omega plus g omega. Why is this so? Because look at it, uh, this mu will take omega times it will take pairs alpha and g. So it will take mu will take this. Alpha is an element of omega. G is an element of g. Isn't it? So it is taking pairs now, this is like omega times but in the end, what will it give? It will give an element of omega because it will allow, allow alpha to be acted on by G. And we saw what happened when an element of group acts on omega. It will give size to us an element of omega. Say, for example, when we had a, where G was a 1, 2, 3, it is an element of G. And what we had, uh, example two, energy is an element of what this belongs to G, two belongs to what? Element. What happens if you allow G to act on two? Supposing your omega is, is a set one, two, three. What do you get? We say two. Is a map to three here. Yeah. The permutation is two to three here. Yeah. So this will give you T. T is an element of So you are now taking two elements of G and you are adding one with an element one element. Okay, just like that. So that's what this one does. So alpha G now will be alpha G in a jet from by new will be alpha g rho for all alpha in omega and all g in g. This is an action because if you pick an alpha and omega, just like I pick two, isn't it? If you pick alpha and the g h, you pick two elements g and h, maybe this is my g. If I pick another one, maybe h, you put maybe one, maybe two. Two elements like so, like that. Then alpha g h will be 
derivat alfa of zero hetero which is alpha of zero plus h root and uh, and this will give us alpha g h root in other words you are now saying alpha g2 is going to end up with you are now going to end up with 2 g times h this 2 is being acted by now what is it uh, g h yeah. So you have a special value of 2 into 1 to tv, 1 tv. What are the you want? Like 1 to tv, 1 tv. As an example, this says 1 to 2, this says 2 to 1. This, that means 1 to 1. In this one side, it says 2 to 3. This side of the is one is really so it's like two to two. This says three to one, say one series, so it's like TV three. What is that type of motion? It's the identity. Because it exists it was one to one. Right? So that one uh, is an action actually. Uh, this is actually an action. But it will be GH row and which is alpha GH as the end. And alpha of 1 will be alpha 1 row. 1 row is just 1. Alpha times row, which is alpha. So this is the definition of one function. So that means this power of the mass defined actually is a good function. We're going to test the two uh, properties of what? And two. Two under one is just two, so this will give you just in our example we we'll end up with just two. Is it clear? Yes. So and you can see clearly that uh, uh, two under, for example, if you now separate them, two under one to three will give you what three. Three under one three two will give you what? Why is it here? Uh, let me show you. What is it? I will show you. Maybe I will take. This is my bigger. One, two, three. My G is. The, the normal is going to be one. One, two, three. One, three, two. One, two, one, two. Our uh, S2. Now let me take alpha. This is alpha one, alpha two, alpha. This is G1, G2, G3, G4, G5. So that is one. 14. G6. Suppose I take alpha. Alpha, which is what? I would like to act to be acted by so alpha two being acted on by G1, then by what? G2. I want to say that this is the same as alpha two, or I call this G, if you like, I call this G, I call this H. I call this L, I call this M, I call this S, and so on and so forth. So that means this is G1 alpha to be acted by G H. I want to say that this is the same as alpha 2 being acted by G. This is the this is the This is what I want to say. Then I take to my G is 1. Or let me take g is 1. Supposing uh, my g is 1, my, uh, my h is what? My h is... Uh, but I don't want to take 1. It looks so simple. Let me say hm. 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 Let me see. So this, 
My H is what? One, two, three. One, two, three. Then all, all um, H, M is what? One, two, three. I want to say this is equal to two in acted by what? One, two, three times one, two, three. I want to request this. What is two and the one, two, three? Two and two, two, three. So this is TV being acted on by what? One, two, three. CV here will give you what? Two. Uh, and the left hand side, I don't know which. Let me check the right hand side. I will apply this one first. I say one to two, two to one. So one to one. I say what? Two to three here. Here I say three to two. So I say two to two. I say what? Three to what? To one here. Yeah. One to three. So I say three to three. So this is like two which is also the same. So that what we wanted to show that um, this one is actually a group And the second one, the second one is trying to say that if you take a margin like this from omega to omega defined by this, well, m of omega is taken to its image, its image is the action of G on the same element. Then you can walk a homomorphism so that this is our direct homomorphism of G and symmetric omega. And that was we tried to show here. We say let us, let us take rho G then, drop to symmetric omega for all G in. Now we, we claim that this might be rho G is well defined and one to one. That means it is actually it's not empty. Why is it not empty? Because uh, at least omega is not empty sets. So there are something you will map on and it's one to one. Meaning that there is no way you can map one on two different images on both. Now for example rule alpha rogi if you allow alpha to be in some theta OG, this will only be possible if and only if alpha G is equal to beta G. And how do you show it? You take the uh, impasse, you do cancellation law, take the impasse outside, impasse, impasse. When you do that, GG impasse will be 1, so you have alpha 1, beta 1. Alpha 1 we know is alpha, beta 1 is not beta, so that means alpha is equal to. So this is one form. And uh, next, you take an alpha and omega and you define it in such a way that alpha being acted by G M plus not just so this is that is different with this not G minus, but it's actually G M plus. Okay? Then beta belongs to okay, beta belongs to omega. We want to show that Every impasse image of alpha will give us a beta in, in omega. Okay, and that's this is how we do it. We say beta rho g is equal to beta g, which but we have defined beta like this. Let it to be what? Alpha of g plus. Alpha of g plus, then you put g. So and then you know G inverse is G inverse. G inverse G will be 1. So you have alpha 1, which is alpha. Thus, for any rho G, rho G is not true because for any inverse you take, for any inverse energy you take, you end up with an correct or correspond to some alpha in the object. Uh, which is so alpha, because alpha also is an element of omega. So this is both 1 to 1 and 1 to this. Furthermore, if you take two out elements of G, G and H, you discover that you allow alpha rho to be 
impacted on by G and H, these are two elements of G. It is alpha, by definition, this is alpha being acted by GH, which by definition of uh, alpha production is alpha G first, then what? H, which is alpha rho G rho H, which is equal to alpha rho G rho H. And so, for all G H in G you take, you have that rho G H will be rho G rho H. But this one corresponds to something else. This is a definition of our community. Alpha is rho G rho H is actually a definition. For example, that's the rho is a community. That's what you want to show you. Okay, so rho is actually belongs to our community. And that's the end of the theory. I think the next is a lesson of the theory. Try to give you maybe I will I'll give some he picks an A in G and says that for any S in G rho G rho G will pick S to to X in let me refer to this. Let him for any S you pick, it will now allow it. Then what is um, uh, that when A is fixed, this is called action, action by right multiplication, right Let me now define 
technology like the reason of the binary is a lot to take x to x in and the row h to now act on row g so we we'll have row x a row h which is going to be s a and maybe x row uh, x row the first row okay the first row is x a isn't it so for so x g but I want to call this a let me call this x g x g then all what row h so I will call this x by associativity G Rho H which is going to be S Rho H S of G H because Rho H is actually H uh, Rho H will give H to H so I will have uh, S XG first, I started with uh, uh, I started with XGH and I ended up I want to start with X rho GH sorry I want to start with rho GH which is equal to XG or Starting with SG, 
let us be a subgroup of and uh, set omega let set omega to be a set of all hs where x is in g okay. and define and define hs HS being acted on by S to be equal to XSG to be acted by G to be actually HXG for all S to G to G. Then, is this a group action? Remember, you have made this set. This is the list group, this set of what? Right for sets. Remember, it is a, it's a subgroup of G, and X is an element of G. This set of right. Now, define uh, efforts of right for sets being acted on G, G being an element of the group to be. HSG. There is a group action. There is a first form first. What is HS under G under H? That what you now what you investigate to know that by definition HS under G under H will be HX under G first. HX under G will be what? HXG all under H. Isn't it? And by definition, G is going to be what? HS GH. Isn't it? So which is equal to which is going to be what? HS after under what? G. So you start with this. And what is HX under 1? It's going to be HX times 1, which is equal to what? Just HX. So this is actually a group. So it has satisfied the two properties. XSG is equal to what? GH and H of 1 is equal to. So it satisfies the group. Then the set omega will be the set of SH now. This, uh, this is the set of what? Left for six. And define and then define define SH under G to be now uh, G number 6 under G to be equal to G numbers X H is this a group action? you can also check this okay? You can check also this uh, solution. Let us check. What is um, uh, under the work of? We know that XH under G is G inverse XH from definition. So, what is XH under G? Under H, what will this be? This is going to be first you evaluate under G is going to be G inverse XH all under H. So this is going to be what? H inverse or what? G inverse XH. Then what? 
by definition. And so this is going to be what? H numbers, G numbers, XH. Oh, isn't it also I, I don't I don't use this. Isn't it? So this is going to be XH. Uh, XH. So this is going to be what? G H all numbers S H and this is what S H sorry S H under G H so you start off with this and you end up with this so it is and S H under one under one is going to be one inverse S but one inverse is one, so it's one S H, which is simply S H. So this is also a okay. So I'm not sure we have uh, uh, enough examples of good action. Uh, I think something that I think is central thing to know is that, uh, like I always say, that uh, the group action is, uh, can be in different ways. A group can act, the whole group can act on an element of a set. That is one scenario. Or you can have an element of the group acting on an element of the set. Or the third scenario is that you can have an element of the set or the whole set itself is being acted by the whole group. So, for example, you can have the whole omega being acted on by G. Or you have just one element of alpha omega being acted on by G. Or one element of omega being acted by one element. So you have the, all of them are actually group action. And they will give rise to permutations. They will not change the element of them, but they will permute them. Uh, they will change the order of the elements of omega. Remember, your omega is a non-empty set, which we say is a set of points, one, two, three, object. So what group actually is doing is only to find these elements, to change their order of the arrangements. Any questions? I think the answer to questions we can start.